The film begins with a person named Frank, who used to work as a soldier in the special forces. But now he works as a driver transporting important things. The most important thing for Frank is accuracy and commitment. And he has three important rules. The first rule is that he does not change any deal or amend it. As for the second rule, no one should know his name and he does not want to know the names of others. As for the third rule, it is that he does not open the package that he delivers, no matter what happens. Frank adheres to these three rules. We watch Frank go to a place for a delivery customer. Frank goes in his car and stops in front of a bank that a gang was robbing. He was waiting for them to pick them up. Frank wasn't interested in what they had because his job was just to deliver them. Four gang members enter the car, and when they enter the car, Frank presses a button that changes the license plate of the car. The gang leader asks Frank to move quickly before the police reach him. But the gang members are surprised that Frank refuses to move in the car because he agreed with them that their number is three people, not four. He tells them that these are the rules and that he cannot change or modify them. The gang members tell Frank that they will kill him if he does not move, but Frank tells them that the car only works with a password, and he tells them that whatever they do, they will not be able to drive it. The gang leader offers Frank a large sum of money to move the car, but Frank refused and remained adamant about what he said. The gang leader had to kill one of the gang members and get him out of the car. Indeed, Frank drives the car. At this time, the police arrive and start chasing Frank and the gang. But Frank was a very skilled driver. But the cops managed to surround Frank's car. The gang members had lost hope and thought they would be caught. But Frank manages to escape from the police after a long chase. After that, Frank delivered the gang members to the agreed place. The gang leader gives Frank the agreed amount and there was a tip for Frank. And then the gang leader tells Frank that he wants him to deliver it to a specific area. But Frank gives the extra money to the gang leader and he tells him that he does not amend the deals. Then the gang members go and ride another taxi to escape. Frank returns the license plate of the previous car and leaves the place. Then Frank comes home and cleans the car. Then Frank saw on the news that three people had been arrested for robbing the bank. They are the same people that Frank delivered. The reason for their arrest was because the taxi driver was not professional enough, so he caused a traffic accident. And then the police came and arrested them. While watching the news, Frank hears a knock on the door. And when Frank went out to see who was in the door, he saw the presence of his neighbor, Tarconi, who works as a police officer. And he was suspicious of Frank because he was quiet and his car was clean all the time. Tarconi informs Frank that there is a car similar to his car that was carrying three members of the gang that robbed the bank. And that the police picked up the plate numbers of the car, so he asks Frank to show him the plate numbers of his car. So Frank confidently takes Tarconi to see the plate of the car. After Tarconi sees the license plate of the car, he realizes that it is not the car they are looking for. So Tarconi apologizes to Frank. He tells Frank that he will come over for coffee later. Then a call comes to Frank from someone asking Frank to make a delivery. Frank goes to this person and he had to deliver a package to a specific address. Frank agrees to the mission and tells this person about three important rules. They agree on the details of the process. On the second day, Frank goes to receive the package, which he must deliver to a specific place. The guy who agreed with Frank comes and puts the package in Frank's car. Then these men go. Frank did not see what was inside the package. Frank goes to the address, but halfway through, Frank has to change the tire. When Frank tries to remove the other tire in the car, he is surprised that the package in his car has someone inside it. However, Frank was not interested because he had a rule at work, which is not to open any package he was transporting. Then Frank changes the car tire and completed the process. Then Frank goes down to a store to have some food and he was thinking about this person in the car. 
Frank buys juice and goes to the car and decides to break the rule and open the package. After opening the package, he notices that there is a girl named Lai in it. But he didn't untie her, he just gave her something to drink. And then Frank takes the girl back to the package, locks the trunk, and sets off in the car to complete the transportation process. While driving in the car, Frank noticed that the girl was moving around a lot. Frank stops the car on the side of the road and goes to the girl and asks her not to scream in order to allow her to speak. She tells him she wants to go to the bathroom. Frank takes out a rope and ties Lai's neck. He allows her to go to the forest to relieve herself. Minutes later, Frank was calling to her, but she did not answer him. Frank goes to her to see her, but Frank is surprised that the girl tied the rope to a tree and ran away. Frank goes to look for her and after a long search he was able to find her. Frank took the girl back to the car and was very angry. But he is surprised that there are two police officers who were in front of his car. When the policeman saw that Frank was carrying a tied girl who looked like a kidnapped girl, the two policemen attacked Frank. But Frank can beat them and make them pass out. Then Frank goes to the address to deliver the package. Frank meets the person who has to collect the package. This person asks Frank if he saw what was inside the package. But Frank tells this person that he does not open any packages and that he does not care what is inside the package. However, this person was suspicious of Frank. This person asks Frank to carry out another package transfer. Frank agrees and agrees with this person on every detail. Frank takes the package and money from this person and leaves. Frank goes to a restaurant to have lunch and rest before delivering the package. But before he gets in the car, his car explodes. Frank knew that this person had given him a bomb to kill him. Frank returns to this person's house and kills this person's men. And then Frank searches for their boss, but he can't find him. Lai tries to take advantage of the gang's preoccupation with confronting Frank and tries to escape from the place. And when Frank was able to get rid of all the men of this person, he takes one of the cars in the garage and leaves. On the way, Frank is surprised that Lai is in the car. Frank stops the car and gets Lai out of the car and leaves her in the road, angry at her. But after driving for a while, he felt pity for Lai and went back to pick her up. Frank takes Lai home with him, brings food to her, then leaves her and goes to sleep. At this time, we see the gang leader who tried to kill Frank, whose name is Street. And he was going to visit one of his men in the hospital and start asking him about the person who did this to them. This person tells the gang leader that the driver did not die from the bomb that he set for him, and he returned to them and beat them. On the second day in the morning, Frank was surprised when he saw Lai preparing breakfast. Frank sat down to eat breakfast and was surprised by Lai's behavior. But the big surprise is the arrival of his neighbor, Tarconi, who came to visit him, and Tarconi saw Lai with Frank at home. Tarconi asks Frank about Lai. Frank tells him that she is a new cook for the house, and he tells him that he is a lonely person and there is no one to prepare food for him, and he decided to bring his cook to the house. Tarconi asks Frank why Frank's car isn't out. Frank tells Tarconi that his car had been stolen the day before and that he was about to go to the police to report it. Tarconi tells Frank that his car exploded in front of a restaurant yesterday in the eyes of two policemen. But Frank tells him he doesn't know about this. Tarconi tells Frank he knows he's being honest, but asks him to come to the police station with Lai. The reason for this was that Tarconi is the one who will open the file of Frank's car theft, and he also wants to ask them some questions. Frank agrees, but after Tarconi leaves, Frank talks to Lai and he senses that something is wrong. Suddenly, a missile is fired at Frank's house by Street and his men, and then the Street guys shoot at Frank's house non-stop. Frank takes Lai to a basement so they can escape. After descending into the basement, they go through the sewers and escape unnoticed. After they leave, they both go to the police station to talk to Tarconi, who learned of the explosion that occurred at Frank's house. Tarconi begins to question Lai and Frank about what happened. 
Frank tells Tarconi that he and Lai were out and when they return home they find him burnt. But Tarconi asks Frank about the shooting that took place. But Frank told him that he was out of the house and did not know anything about what happened. Tarconi's boss calls him so Tarconi goes to talk to him and Frank and Lai stay in the office. Lia sat in Tarconi's place in the office and tried to find the person who was stalking them. Indeed, Lia was able to obtain this person's information and they knew that his name was Street. When Tarconi returned to the office, he did not notice anything and allowed them to leave, but when he opened his computer, he knew that they had used it and he knew that they were looking for a person named Street. Lai asks Frank to go with her to find Street. But Frank refused. Lai tells Frank that there is a ship that will transport 400 kidnapped people and these will turn into slaves and she tells him that her father and her brothers are among the kidnapped and she asks him to help her. She tells him that the person who can get them to the ship is Street. Frank is affected and decides to help Lai to save her family and the rest of the kidnapped. Street is surprised when Frank and Lai enter his office. Frank aims the gun at Street while Lai is rummaging through files on the ship. Street tells Lai that her father will come to the office and he will punish her. Frank is shocked because Lai told him her father was among the kidnapped people on the ship. Street tells Frank that Lai is lying to him. Lai aims the gun at Frank. At this moment, a person named Kwai enters, and this person is Lai's father and also Street's partner in their human trafficking business. Kwai tried to calm his daughter down so she would put the gun down. When Lai drops the gun, Kwai orders his men to kill Frank. But Street stops them because he learns that Officer Tarconi is coming to the office to investigate Street and find out his connection to Frank and Lai. One of Street's men punches Frank, causing Frank to lose consciousness. When Tarconi entered the office, Street asked him to arrest Frank for kidnapping Lai. He tells him that Frank had come to collect money from them in exchange for Lai's liberation. Tarconi catches Frank unconscious, but Tarconi knew something was wrong. When Frank regains consciousness, Tarconi tells him everything. Frank tells the officer about the ship and the people on board. Frank asks Tarconi to release him in order to save these people before they become slaves, and he also tells him that if he gets out of the police station, he will rescue the kidnapped quickly, unlike the policeman, who will take longer. Tarconi is convinced and agrees. Tarconi had to pretend that he was a hostage and that Frank was kidnapping him in order to get out of the police station. After Frank gets out, he takes a small boat and goes to the ship's location. When Frank arrives, he kills Kwai and Street's men. When Kwai and Street learn that Frank is on the ship, they decide to change the plan. They transfer the containers containing the abductees from the ship to large trucks. Indeed, two trucks contain containers containing the kidnapped persons, and these two trucks were surrounded by protection cars. Frank manages to kill everyone in the place. Then Frank drives a car to catch up with the two trucks. But on the way, the car breaks down and Frank suddenly notices a farmer's plane. Frank threatens the farmer and asks him to deliver him until he reaches the two trucks. When Frank gets there, he jumps out of the plane with his parachute. Frank gets off on one of the two trucks. Then he throws a parachute at a car that was protecting the two trucks. A car collision occurs and some of them are killed. Frank gets into a truck and takes control of it after pushing its driver out. But he was surprised to find Street with him in the truck and they clash. After a violent clash, Frank was able to kill Street. When Frank stops the truck on the side of the road, he is surprised that Kwai aims the gun at him. Frank gives up and has to go with Kwai somewhere. When they arrive at a certain place, Kwai tries to kill Frank. But suddenly, Kwai is shot, and when he wants to find out who shot him, he notices that his daughter is the one who killed him. Lai breaks down over what she has done, so Frank hugs her and calms her down. Meanwhile, Tarconi and the police arrive to free the kidnapped. Thus, Frank carried out the mission and saved 400 people. And here the movie ends. Thank you for watching.